trivia. What's up everybody? Today we are making some butt. Yep, that's right, some Boston butt. butt uh, we are straight up in the middle of the coronavirus and I thought what a better way to have some meat around than make a Boston butt. butt. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's super, super easy. This is how I do it. There's a lot of ways, but I like quick, easy. I'm a lazy cook, so if you are a lazy cook and you like a lot of meat and you like flavor, this is a good way to do it, especially in the crock pot. All right, so Priya's making a dry rub back there. And first thing you're gonna do is buy the butt. It was on sale at Publix this week for $1.99 a pound. Pork, pork shoulder Boston butt roast. So I have already washed my hands and I've washed a bowl over here. So I'm going to take it over to the bowl over here. And I'm just gonna rinse it off with some water. First take it out. I keep everything on it. I do not trim it whatsoever. Now, this may not be the healthiest meat to eat per se, but it's still a good source of protein and it's still a good piece of meat. Usually I would buy grass-fed um, meat, well, but this is a pork roast, okay? Uh, all right, so we're gonna just rinse it off here and then I'm gonna pat it dry. So to add this, I don't, I don't like this on my... I know, we still just add a little bit in there. Okay. She's making the rub. It's probably gonna end up being too spicy for her. But that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But I want to try it. And you need to learn how to eat some spicy food. Okay, but that's hot pepper. It's just crushed red pepper. It's cayenne pepper. So I do the whole like everything but the kitchen sink type of uh, dry rub. And then I'm also going to do a um, barbecue sauce. I'm going to tell you about the barbecue sauce here in a minute. And I'm gonna to try to get this video out to you in under five minutes, maybe under 10 minutes here. That way you don't have to wash too much and you wash your hands quick. No corona here. <laughs> if you're watching it during this time, you know what I mean? Who knows what it's gonna be like in the next couple of weeks. All right, so we're gonna go back over here. Priya's still making the dry rub. We're going to slap on some yellow mustard. Don't worry if you don't like mustard, that's okay. Uh, this is just to make the dry rub stick. Can I add this? I'm also gonna start turning. Uh, no, that's gonna be the end. You put everything in there? Mm -hmm. All right, so we use some paprika, some chili powder, garlic, uh, oregano, a teeny bit of rosemary. Oh, I add a lot of rosemary. All right, we're gonna slather this puppy on here. I'm going to um, add a little bit more everything. I'm gonna need you, because I'm gonna have mustard hands. I don't like mustard. You don't need to like mustard. This is just to make it let make the dry rub stick. So it doesn't give it a mustard flavor. Don't worry about it. Everybody worry about it. Make sure your mustard, I didn't even look, doesn't have high fruit, high fructose corn syrup in it. I don't think mustard usually does, but you never know these days. They put it in everything. All right, so that is lathered up. Now Priya's gonna put the dry rub on it, yeah? Go ahead. I'm not finished. Well, I'm gonna put this on it. This is one of my favorite seasoning. It's, uh, I don't know if it's a local company here in Tampa. Uh, Pinellas Park, it. Florida. I'm I'll give a shout out here. I'll try to find a link to it. This is the original. They make a bunch of them and they make a popcorn topper, uh, barbecue topper. This is the original one, Instant Gourmet. I'll put it in. So, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot or just a little bit? I use it on everything. It works on absolutely everything. Literally everything. She puts it on her toast. Like mm -hmm. literally everything. Mama, so do I, how much do I put on this? Yeah, just slather it up. I'm washing my hands right now. That's good? Too much. Nope, that's good. One more. All right, and then where's my little one? More? Yes. These are great to kind of work with the... There you go. Pork roast. All right, where's the other one? Here, put some of that on. All of it? Yep. Okay. Here comes my for Hey, you're pulling the camera. Oh, I sorry. Have to be Her time to shine. Go ahead. All of it? Yep. We'll try to do half and half for the other side, too. Oh, you did a good dry rub there. Are you going to rub it in with your hands? No. She's like, mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to flip this puppy over. Hold on, hold on. Sides. You do want to try to get in the crevices and stuff. I'm not really particular. I'm not, you know, Martha Stewart or anything. I don't ever pretend to be. I like easy. But... I do know that that's a pro tip to try to get in the crevices and get all the flavoring and seasoning inside there. Just even like um, do that. No, yeah, like that. Let's 
Oh, wow. Wanna do this too? Mm -hmm. I already added that. On this side? I don't know. I wanna do that. I'm trying to get the sides there. Oh, we're rubbing it. It's weird. <laughs> Real life. <laughs> all right. You want a mustard on me? All right, now I'm rubbing it all in. All right, so basically, we're done. All right, I'm gonna take it from here. I'm gonna transfer it in the crock pot. And then I'm gonna show you something. All right, so right in there. Use those big muscles. Low and slow, 10 hours, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Start watching it around the eight hour mark. Put this extra seasoning in there. And give it a good, nice rub. Give that butt a rub. I mean, every single butt loves a good rub. You can't deny that. Uh, no, do not pay attention to this one. All right, last step. All right, uh, I want to do the golden part. barbecue sauce, Primal Kitchen. I'm a big uh, Mark Stinson, Stinson fan. Uh, this is paleo friendly. It's also something else friendly, primal friendly, which is the same thing as paleo. So no high fructose, fru fructose corn syrup in it. Everything's organic, and we'll use the entire bottle on this. Do you want to do this? Yeah. No, I want to open it. <laughs> okay, did I just pour it everywhere? Yeah, all over. Yeah, just inside the actual crock pot. <laughs> all right. I so she spread it. Yep. I spread it. So I probably should have gotten two bottles, but I'm lazy and sometimes cheap too. So we might make try to uh, make this bottle last. Uh, you can also use regular barbecue sauce. Uh, like I said, just make sure it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup in it. Wait, what, wait, why did you put that little material in The high fructose corn syrup in it? That's a very good question for another video someday. Oh, you got Alright, I'm just going to give it a couple turns here. I'm going to put it on low. We're going to the movies. By the time we get back, it will be done. Uh, eight to 10 hours, up to maybe 12 hours. I like the low and slow, but you can also cut it in half by doing on high for maybe four or five hours. But with such a big, thick piece of meat, probably want to do low and slow. Under 10 minutes, seven minutes and 40 seconds. Guys, have a great fit day. Thanks well, for joining us. Well, I need us. to say something. This part is you do it on top. That's it's, oh, there is a bone. We left the bone in there. That's a bone. It's a butt bone. Everybody has a butt bone. See? I don't have butt a butt bone. Butt bone, butt bone. Yeah, I don't listen to her. Bye. No, oh my God, bye. Hi. Bye.